So tell me a bit about what's happening here today. So today our volunteers and we are stuffing around 400 stockings to um, distribute to patients this week and Christmas morning. So for anyone that's in the hospital, they'll, re they'll receive a stocking. The nurses will deliver it to their bedside on Christmas Eve and they'll get a stocking Christmas morning. So this has been going on for probably 30 years or so. It was initially started by the nurses at the municipal hospital and they had wanted to make sure they they really felt for people in the hospital over Christmas. So they wanted to do something kind and they started doing that and then Volunteer Resources has taken the project over. So what kind of items are going into these stockings? Well we're very fortunate we have um, community partnerships. Uh, so some dentists uh, have partnered and given us toothpaste and toothbrushes. Also we have the Chinook Regional Hospital Foundation that have donated money and the friends of Chinook Regional Hospital. So things like decks of cards, games, crossword puzzles, uh, let's see, some lotion, hand lotion, lip balm, things like that. We also have, for the last two years, have some letters of hope from students throughout Lethbridge. Uh, from ages, I'm going to say kindergarten to grade six or seven, and they write letters to patients in the hospital, and some of them are just so lovely. They're all lovely, but I was reading some this morning, and so they write a letter to a patient in the hospital and say, you know, and wish them well for Christmas. They draw pictures on them, and they're very sweet. Give me an example of you know, maybe someone that was really touched by getting one of these stockings here in the hospital. Well, some of the staff have uh, we've received feedback that this might be the only thing that a person might get for Christmas is this lovely stocking. So the fact that total strangers cared enough about them, first of all, to sew a stocking, like hand make a stocking, and then fill it with goodies, it's really been really moving for people. So they really appreciate it that someone cares enough about them being in the hospital over Christmas.